Pasilla peppers may be new to you, but they're ancient in Mexico. They're more spicy than poblano peppers and less spicy than guajillo. Now, sometimes it's a little hard to get pasilla peppers, but you can use morita, guajillo, or even chipotle if you want to. So the main thing is I want to get all of the seeds out because that's where the heat is. The dish that I'm making is called cordero con salsa de pasilla, which is lamb on a pasilla sauce. Now I want you to take a look at this beautiful piece of lamb rack. We use it in Mexico City a lot of the times. It is delicious on the grill. Here goes the garlic. Now I just want you to pay close attention to this because I'm not chopping the garlic or mashing it. I want the garlic to be cooked whole. This is basically for the chilies. And you know the pasillas are in when the aromas start being released into the air. Now at this point, I'm gonna add some water. Out of this, we're gonna get our rub and then we're gonna get our sauce. This already looks so cool already, and I only used two ingredients, pasilla and garlic, and I'm gonna sweeten it up with a bit of honey. And don't be shy with this. I like my pasilla sauce with enough, enough sweetness to it. Honey and lamb, oh, so good. Ooh. And that pasilla, it's a bit spicy. For that, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of apple vinegar. The vinegar is gonna help me, not, not just to tenderize the meat, but also mm, just reduces the heat that you get out of the rub. Now to the lamb. For this, I wanna add a bit of flavor, cumin and oregano. Once I sear this, the whole house is gonna smell like flowers. Salt. Perfect. As, as I speak, this lamb is absorbing all of the juiciness and the goodness of the pasilla sauce. Listen to that sound. And the heat is gonna caramelize the honey, and it's gonna make it sweeter with a pinch of bitterness to it, with the chili. Oh, this is why I love cooking. God, look at this beauty. Look at the caramelize that happened through the pasilla and the honey. Now, as much as I want to cut this and start eating it, I need to let it rest. I want this piece of lamb to be succulent and juicy. Now, remember the pasilla rub that we saved? This is what we make our sauce with. And how incredible is this, eh? It's so simple. We had two ingredients, pasilla and garlic. And look at this. We had a rub, and now we have a sauce. Just perfect. It's just perfect. Oh my God, look at this, how tender this is. Man, look at the juices. Cannot wait, cannot wait to try this beauty. And just to finalize my dish, my pasilla sauce. This, my friends, is something you get at a restaurant. The sweetness of the honey and the spiciness of the pasilla, man, they go hand to hand. And the beauty of this dish, once again, is just, there's three ingredients, basically. You have lamb, you have pasilla, you have garlic. That's it, that's all it takes. Lamb is a celebration. That's why I chose a margarita. 
But I'll tell you something. There's so many chilies in Mexico, they're so versatile. I challenge you to find the one that calls you the most. <laughs>